Welcome to another video. I am the Starman. Now then, forgive the dodgy mobile phone coverage because it's the only camera I've got at the moment. But I'm back in the place again where I was last time to shoot the moon, here in Lytham, on the green. Yeah, so I'm back here again in Lytham, where I was to shoot the moon. And just down here we've got the jetty, and I'm going to go down there. And what this video is all about is I want to try and capture the International Space Station as it goes over. Now it's going to pass over in the southern part of the sky. Yeah, so in my last video, I photographed the moon from here, but this time I'm photographing a satellite which is much closer to the moon, an unnatural satellite. I'm going to be photographing the International Space Station as it passes over the sky. In fact, what I'll do is I won't photograph it, I will video it for you, just to give you an idea of what it looks like when it crosses the sky. Now, the International Space Station, it passes over around about, well, it orbits the Earth roughly every hour and a half now um, you don't always see it because you might not always be in the right place or it may go over during daylight hours uh, but luckily enough for me tonight the International Space Station is due to go over not only once but twice now it's just after five o'clock now I better hurry up actually because it's gonna start going over in about five minutes time and then in about an hour and a half it's going to go over again now, I want to try and capture this first pass at the end of the jetty and I want to just give you some idea of what it looks like as it goes over the sky. So, let's get to the end of the jetty and set my camera up so that I can film the ISS going over for you. Tell you what, this jetty is really long. It's a bit foggy tonight, I know. Wow, I don't know if you can see that, but it's really, really foggy. Look at that moon. It's getting towards full. Mars is up there as well. I don't know if you can see Mars there. Up to the right of the moon there. Anyway, let's get to the end of the jetty because the ISS will be coming up soon. Right, okay, so I'm now on the jetty and I'm just setting my camera up. But I just want to show you something first on how I know where the ISS is going to be and exactly where it's going to go in the sky and what time. I use a website called Heavens Above and it's really, really good. But you can access it on your phone and I'm just going to show you the screen now. If you register with Heavens Above and put in your coordinates, this is the screen here and it shows you all the different things that you can track satellites all sorts of things that you can you can find in the sky anyway we're, we want the ISS so what you do is once you register put your coordinates in make sure that they're right for where you are and then you click on this one here ISS and it brings up this screen where if it happens to be visible in the sky where you are it will show you yeah so you see this list here and it shows you all the visible passes that you can see in your area and if I click on this one now it shows you the pass that we're about to see tonight so it tells you exactly the time it's going to rise and the time that it's going to get to its highest point and when it's going to disappear and if you click on this if you click on it again on the actual one it shows you a map of the sky so you can see there that's how I know exactly where it was going to go in the sky so now it's time to wait for the ISS Right, okay. Now, I've decided not to go to the end of the jetty because I didn't really need to. Um, what I really wanted, well, what I originally wanted to do was I wanted to include the tide marker in the frame, but I don't really need to. Um, I'm rushing a little bit and uh, because I decided to film it, I don't really need a, um, you know, I don't need a feature really. I just want to show you. Now I'm filming towards the end of the jetty here and I tell you what, this fog, <laughs> I don't know if it's showing on, on, the, on the screen but I tell you what, this fog is getting worse. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's quite spooky really. Now, can you see there, we're looking towards the south and we can see quite clearly there's a bright speck down there on the right hand side. That's the planet Jupiter. Now, if I can zoom in a little bit, uh, just above and left of Jupiter oh now now then I think we have something here's me talking about Jupiter and what's that over there <laughs> it's here the ISS can you see it it's just above Jupiter there that caught me by surprise well there you go how about that the ISS well I just managed to get it how close was that I thought it was a couple of minutes away, but there you go. Talk about last minute. Can you see that now? It's heading towards the middle of the frame. 
it's coming up in the southwest part of the sky. It looks like a very bright star. It's going to be in our skies, the UK skies, for the next week or so. Um, so if you, if you live in the UK or, or Northern Europe, you have a chance of um, seeing this go across your skies. And what I normally do is I normally take a series of photographs of it and then I put them together and I make a nice photograph and, and we get a trail out of it. And uh, as you can see, it's now making its way up towards the top left of the screen and it's probably going to go off the screen in a minute. But what I want to do is when it goes off the screen, I'm going to move the camera around and I want to show you what happens when it gets to the other side of the sky because it's due to disappear when it gets past the moon so that'll be quite interesting so what i'll do is once this gets off the screen now i'm going to turn the camera around and face the camera towards the moon and then we'll see the iss disappear just after it goes past the moon and the reason for that is in fact i need to stop this now so i'm going to stop the camera now and then we'll turn it around right okay so i am now facing towards the moon and as you can see wow look at that doesn't that look moody and if you see Mars up there look at that that's Mars up there to the right top right Mars how amazing is that and the ISS is going to come into the screen now watch here it comes here it comes yes now then there it goes it's going to skim past the moon it's going to skim just underneath the moon in fact and then something amazing is going to happen. It's going to disappear. And the reason why it's going to disappear is because it's going to go into the shadow of the earth. How amazing is that? Look at that now. Hey, hey you can see this for yourself as well. If you're lucky enough to get out over the next few nights and it's clear enough, you might be able to see this for yourself. Now, keep an eye on that. Now then. Just watch this now. Is it going? I think it's going. It's disappearing. Oh, it's disappearing. Just about to go off the screen, is it? It's gone. And it's gone. I got it. So I managed to get the ISS rising going across the sky, amazing, and uh, disappearing into the Earth's shadow, how about that, amazing. And it's going to go over again later on, it's going to go all the way around the Earth in about an hour and a half, and I'll get another chance to photograph it later where it'll disappear into the Earth's shadow again, but a lot earlier. Now then, how amazing was that? Awesome, eh? And I just managed to capture it as well. It was a real rush. I always seem to be last minute when I do these things, but I, I just couldn't get here any earlier. I was doing something else. I was busy with something else and I tried to get down here earlier, but I just couldn't. But anyway, we managed to get the ISS crossing the sky and I managed to get it on video for you, just to give you an idea of what it looks like when it crosses the sky. And hopefully you will be able to see it too and possibly even photograph it as well. I've got a video on photographing it as well if you want to have a go at that. Anyway, it'll be in our skies for the next week or so in the UK, in the evening skies, and if it's clear enough where you are and you're looking enough to be able to see it, get out and have a look and see if you can see it and use heavens above to find it and know where it's going to be and know where, when it's going to rise. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. And if you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I will see you again on the next one.